Hi everybody, welcome back to Dust The Everflow. The Everflow. God, I haven't been beaten back to the Everflow in my other game because you've turned it into a meme and all I can hear is you saying me saying it. I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's such an important part of my fucking lore. You've ruined it. But his her. pride won't let him go back to my it. Pride. My goddamn pride. Um, so, as the... Um, the three of you guys headed into Trent's joint. Carlias and Raja headed a bit further down past um, the North Market, past the dungeon area, which is the uh, prison um, of the of the town. So, as you as you move in and around this area, you'll see a slightly higher concentration of those um, sort of more militaristic sheriff-looking um, militia types. The the they are the military, but then also not military. Um, the city's defense is the watch um, in and around the dungeon area. It is one of the only stone, like true stone structures in the town. Um, it is built similarly to how it's represented on the map in that there's a turret, um, but it does seem to go underground. Um, uh, but I, I doubt you would have ever been there, Raja, unless you really needed to. Um, it's not the type of place that people just visit on a day trip. Um, and then you continue down further into the southwest of town towards one of the other larger structures in town. Um, and this place looks uh, pretty fucking great. In terms of actual architecture, they've put a little bit of effort into it. It's stone and wood. Um, and uh, it has um, little uh, little frilly colors and, and plate glass windows that you'd normally find on temples and churches and shrines and things um, that are shaped in uh, coins and cards um, like jacks and spades and queens and that kind of thing um, in lots of the little windows. This is immediately money. It's a completely um, separated building from everywhere else around it. Even the, the roads in the area are well maintained and well kept. There's even small little plants and gardens that are kept outside. And plants, gardens and stuff are a dead giveaway because maintaining plants in Dustvale is very difficult. Um, so they probably have their own private, like, clerics and maybe even a druid that they've found who uh, they've been Garden clerics. as a literal gardener. Um, <laughs> just for gold. Gold druids. Um, the only druids who like gold <laughs> can be found in Sin River. You'll never find them anywhere else. Um, there's a very clear opening. Um, so this is like a this is a tall tower. There is a central tower, but there are also lots of buildings around it. Each of the different buildings is usually a different thing. Like if you want to play cards, there's like a blackjack building. There's a roulette table building. There's a bingo hall, and then there's a, a turreted tower in the middle. The top half of which is reserved, um, not just as not just for the um, staff, um, but also for there's like a very high class. Um, in here. So if you have the gold and it does cost a lot, you can actually stay at the Velvet Casino. And staying at the Velvet Casino actually grants you in-game benefits. Um, just little benefits. Um, but it's very expensive. Um, and uh, as you approach, the, the doormen here are well like posh, suited looking. The finest tailory you've seen um, in town so far, by far. Um, even the huge, very buff, large-looking tiefling men. One of them stands with a, um, a relatively plain-looking pistol on one hip. The other one stands with a pretty nice-looking bastard sword, like a long sword, um, on his hip. Um, as you two approach, <laughs> uh, they look at you with disgust. Instant mm -hmm. disgust. Uh, I'm still I'm still pushing that little cart with the two boxes on it. And the, you said that the box it, it had a name of the person at the Velvet Crown on it, right? Do you remember yeah, what name we had assigned to it? See what it had on I it. I thought I wrote it down somewhere, but I don't have it written. Um yeah, I think it had the name of the uh where did I write it? Sorry, I've got like three different things open. Train. Um <laughs> Is it Caslec? No. I don't know. I don't know what I wrote I, down. I, I I can't remember. We could just assign him a new name. <laughs> well, was... I know who the box is for. 
The box is for Ch uh, a man named Castlek. So even if that's not what it said before, I think it had on it um, something property of Castlek. So we'll just say it has that on it now. Yeah, so, something like that. Down. Yeah, so I'll just walk up to them and go, "Hey, where you guys take deliveries at? Is it around back?" Uh, what do you have here, huh? Food. Food is it? Hey, show me it. I'll, I'll open the box up so they can smell like that jerky with the orange citrusy smell to it. Yeah, what is this? Yeah, what is your name? Hmm. Corin. Corin. And uh, where did this box come from? Windy Peaks. Hmm. Wait here. Uh, the one with the pistol walks Says in. Says Castlek with... on it. Mm, yes, yes, yes. He walks into the um, into the casino. Like as he opens the door, you see inside, and there's an immediate area, like a meeting area. There's a couple of very beautiful-looking women draped across very rich-looking noblemen, just in the immediate hall on like velvet-looking um, beds that are just like uh, sitting around a central fountain. So instantly, you just look in there and you're like, oh my god, money. <laughs> <laughs> Water means money a lot of the time in Dustvale. And then the door closes. The other tiefling guard, the, the slightly larger of the two with his sword, kind of like looks down at you and then looks away from you again, disgusted at the mere sight of you. Um, probably about 10 minutes will pass uh, before the door opens again and the um, the tiefling with the pistol walks out again. He looks you both up and down. Carlias, he lingers just for one second or too long on your guns and then says, "Yeah, okay, you come with me around to the back. This is for Schiff. Okay. Be right back. Uh, talking to Carlias. Be right back. Uh, he says, um, uh, you uh, come a long way from Windy Peak, sir. Mm, me? Yeah. Mm. No, I live here. I unload the trains. No, oh, this is... came from Windy Peaks. Uh, how are you dressed? Uh, I'm 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 wearing my my usual. Well, well, Raja Raja, uh, he, he wears Sadwalker crap, but he's probably yeah. got his red hood off at this point so that it's not standing out too much. Mm. And then and then hold on, <laughs> there. <laughs> Trying to make yourself look look neat, <laughs> look slightly less messy with this with the with this yeah. headband off. Your your dirty fingernails and <laughs> bloodstained leathers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, he had to like you head around to to um, one of the smaller buildings that are separate yet terraced into the um, the Velvet Crown Casino. He walks up to a a, a, a pretty large door and bangs on it twice. Um, the oaken door opens up and there's a big old uh, kind of half-orc looking guy in all white. And he says, uh, he says, uh, uh, this is it, huh? Okay, you bring it inside. Um, sure. The, the tiefling uh, nods and says, eh, don't fuck with this one, okay? And then walks off. Um, the uh, This guy is clearly a chef, though he is the biggest half orc you've probably seen in a while he's very very large he looks like regardless of being a chef he could probably uh uh bench press you um he uh opens the door and then you bring the box in he says uh <clears throat> you open the box yeah mm -hmm. box was open when it came off the train mm -hmm. sure it was give me a, a deception check I'm telling the truth. <laughs> it was open when it came off the train. <laughs> uh, where is deception? <laughs> Luckily, this walk is really dumb, actually. <laughs> he uh, he looks at you quizzically. He's kind of not sure. It seems like maybe he rolled a 4-2. What kind of meat is that, anyway? It human. Smells, smells like oranges. It's human. Human meat. Yes. You want to try? Nah. <laughs> I'll just bite my own arm if I get hungry. <laughs> uh, no, you try. He lifts out a, a strip of jerky. Come. You never try your own kind. Always try your own kind. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. 
Confirmed. Told you he's a vampire. I feel like your your alignment should just immediately plummet after that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He uh he says uh he's good. Uh, for the record, this is probably regardless of um the fact that it's human, uh, it probably tastes like pig. Um, but it on pork. It's definitely good. Definitely good jerky. This is less is like top quality shit right here. He says uh, uh yes, I always take a strip for myself, but today. Is for you. Mm -hmm. And then, the, uh, and then the chef says, uh, "Okay, well, uh, how much you are owed?" Uh, did, it didn't have a price tag or anything on it, did it? Could, could I, could I guesstimate how much this is worth? Like how much I should ask him for? Sure. No, I mean I'm asking you. Like, would oh, I have any oh, rough I, idea? No, no, no way. No, you have no idea. Oh. Um, uh. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to consult an imaginary strip of paper. Uh, it was 40 gold. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah. He reaches down under one of his um, large kind of stove areas, um, brings out a bag of gold and hands it to you. Yes, yeah, okay. It's probably normal price, eh? This yeah. is a very special box. Okay. Good day to you. He slaps you on the butt. Since you All are. right, see ya. And then, and then, I'm 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 walking like towards the exit, but I'm just kind of monitoring him with my peripheral to see if he's gonna turn around and look away from me at any point. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. He's just okay. He's as soon as box and putting it over in one side, he's got like stoves and stuff cooking. Like, there's a decent smell in here. He's like cooking a lot okay. of shit. In this, as as the uh, the moment right. he's no longer looking at me, I want to like sneak past or like back in and try to get like past uh, the kitchen area and towards like where the hotel area would be instead. Sure, yeah, give me a stealth roll. Oh, where's my mouse cursor? Come here. This is only gonna go so well. Ooh. You, uh, you, like, you start like sneaking past one way and then there's like a whistling from one of the pots and pans, which is next to you, kind of like a kettle as the, as the pan starts to boil the water inside. He turns around and he sees you immediately. Uh, no, 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 not this way. This way is oh. reserved. You get caught, they kill you. <laughs> you come this way, boy. He drags you by one arm towards the door. <coughs> Came in. Same door. Oh. oh, yeah, this way. Okay. And I get it off. wrong, too. It's okay. Uh, we are not <laughs> clever. That's why we don't stay at top of hotel. Uh. Right, right. I'm going to walk outside and then immediately like try to, try to sneak. <laughs> Like either as soon as he turns, if he turns around again, try sneaking again, or like from from the outside. Is there any way that uh, like I could access the hotel, like either over the wall or up the roof or something like that from the outside? Well, this is like lots and lots of buildings, so they don't really have any doors on the outside. There is there is windows um, and windows that do look like they could be opened. Um, okay. At this point, none of them are open. Okay. It seems that today is not hot enough to warrant that any of the windows are open. The okay. um, the half orc just watches you leave and then closes the door. Okay. Um, for after... him once, he's pretty dumb, but he's not that dumb. Okay. Um, after after he watches me leave that building and he closes the door, can I? If, if these are like separated separated buildings, I'm just gonna start walking over towards the hotel area. Yeah, the, well, the hotel is the center building. You've got like a, a bunch of smaller buildings on the outside okay. and then a tower in the center um, with the with the rooms. The inn is the top half of the tower, um, bar maybe a couple of penthouse areas at the top that would be reserved for most likely gotcha. like chancellors, nobles of the highest order, and probably the guy that runs the um, Velvet Casino himself. Do they, so, have a, do they have a well or a water source out back somewhere? I'm assuming they don't have running water, right? No, there's no well outside. Okay. There's no wells anywhere. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. They have the water maker doing it. Um, I'm looking around to try and figure out like where they would be doing if they would have like a laundry area or a place for excess clothes, like for people to wash their clothes. You know, Ocean's Eleven. This. Um, there would be probably. Um, most likely, people would go through that kitchen. That's probably your best access point, honestly, is that single back door. You have a back door, you have a front door. There are loads of windows that you could climb up if you were like a good climber and not seen by anyone. You could access some of these windows. Um, though at the moment, they're closed, not necessarily locked. You wouldn't know. 
Um, you can see some which would open, some which would never open, the more stained glass ones. Well, <laughs> I'm getting you one way or the other. Yeah, I'm gonna go try and check one of these one of these windows. Cool. Give me an athletics check. <laughs> Carlias, at the front of the casino, you uh, you see the other tiefling come back, the one with the uh, the gun on his hip. He um, approaches the front door again, um, speaks to the other tiefling. Do you speak Infernal? Uh, uh no. He says something back and forth with the with the other tiefling. And then turns to you and says, Tell me, where do you get this gun? And he points at the uh, the Cerberus. Well, it was at the weaponsmith. Uh, you go see Blades, uh, so you have money to buy these things. Well, I spent pretty much all of it on it. So I ain't got anything else. You are able to shoot this well, huh? Trained. I'm trained in the gun, yeah. Mm. Who you train under? <laughs> Malcolm Bainsbury of the Bainsbury Gunsmiths. Yeah, my old mentor. Uh, give me a perception check. Climbing up the side of the tower behind the two guards. Oh <laughs> it's Raja. <laughs> <laughs> he start, he's, he's heading towards a big window on the side of the tower. Um, but if this if this tiefling turns around, he'll probably see him pretty obviously. Um, and the, uh, the tiefling says, uh, Perhaps when I get off uh, this shift, I show you a few things, huh? Well, what about now? I mean... Anything we can do right here? He kind of looks one way or the other, says, uh, uh, I get in trouble with the boss man. He'll have my hands and then I'll never shoot again. Well, I heard that even if you don't have your natural hands, uh, you can probably get a replacement. Mm. Metal we'll have none of that gnomish tinkering. Um, he says, uh, No, no, these hands, these are the hands I was born with. These are the hens that I will kill with. And he goes to turn around. Now hold on a second. <laughs> what? What is your favorite gun? I have one gun. Same gun I got since I was a child. May I see it? I don't want to hold it or anything. But... He spins it around once and says, I could shoot a man out of the sky with this gun. What about if you shoot one of the birds behind me? He, uh... Looks up and says, I think if I shoot the gun, I get in trouble. Puts it down. Uh, your, uh, your friend is, uh, he's been gone a long time. You might want to go and check on him. And he goes to turn around. Now, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, <coughs> Sorry. Give me a persuasion check. See if he holds on. <laughs> Got a bit of how long does it take to climb a freaking wall? <laughs> yeah, how long this am is, I on this wall for? This is how long. Hey, nice. What? Okay, Raja, you you climb up the tower and you get to the edge of the window. Um, roll me a d20. The d20 is how many naked women yell at him from inside. <laughs> <laughs> 19 of them. A d20 was to decide whether the window was... Uh, locked or unlocked oh my um, god you get to it and like hanging on to the ledge here you try the bottom of the window to see if it jams on something and it just lifts up it seems that you just need to lift the window up and you'll be able to get in are you doing it quietly are you doing yeah. it loudly no no I'm, I'm just quietly doing that and then uh sneak inside give me a sleight of hand or a stealth check nice yeah it's super stealthy you you feel it jam for a moment and you push it forward and let it lift. Um, and then you slip into the uh, into the room. And it is a room. You are in a uh, um, one of the, the in uh, bedrooms here. And this is posh. This is super posh. There's, there's like gold inlaid um, paintings on the wall. These beautiful paintings, which would be worth more gold than probably you've even earned so far in your life. 
um, just a single one of these paintings, oil on canvas depicting these great battles of knights against dragons. Um, there's a big, big, like, four-poster bed with drapes that hang down it, which has been made perfectly. There is a set of bags um, in this room as well. It does seem like this room is occupied by someone, but there's no one here. There's an ensuite. There's a large area where there's fresh fruit on the table um, with a set of beautiful leather-bound chairs around it. Um, but you're inside of a bedroom. You're in, in, in probably the poshest in room you've ever been in, realistically. Yeah, is there a, is there a closet area? Uh, I'm basically looking for clothes, clothes that look fancy and expensive. Yeah, there's there's a set of bags right in front of you, full okay. of clothes. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna I'm gonna look for the fanciest cloak I can find, like fur lined, purple, embroidered, royalty status. Like people will look at me and just immediately, oh, he's rich. <laughs> uh, all right, roll me a. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. D twenty-seven. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Twenty-five. Uh, brr, 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 brr. Hey, nice. Uh, yeah, these clothes look like they would fit you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take whatever looks the fanciest then, and just cool. immediately just put it on. Yeah, you have a set of uh, fine clothes. Um, you tell me, how do they look? Uh, oh, well, let's randomize it. Uh, nobles clothes. Boom. Go Google. First thing that I got out of that bag. Okay, it's. Uh, it looks like it's. It's brown. It's brown trimmed on the sides with like a gold diamond pattern down the front of it, and then it's a purple cloak around the outside with like a fur lining to it. Probably looks way too hot to be wearing in Dustvale, but hey, you know what? It's more important to look rich than it is to be comfortable. <laughs> You're wearing this guy's. Uh, winter finery um, and uh, yeah as you're as you're dressing yourself in this random room in the what? casino <laughs> which well no go on I was, uh, I was gonna I was gonna say I want to do this like quickly and get out of the room but yeah 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 you're you're, you're dressing yourself pretty much as quickly as you can um, outside the the guard turns back to you Carlias and says uh, what what do you want I'm sorry to be a, a burden what have you? What would you say if I was to uh, to mention the idea of a bullet called a blood bullet? The legs of Raja slip into a window. <laughs> <laughs> a blood bullet, huh? Aren't they all blood bullets in the end? I got a picture of Raja. Well, in the end, but these bullets are infused with blood of a vampire. What or some like to uh, call it a blood sucker. Blood sucker. What is this? They're uh, monsters of the night. They uh, prey on on the young, and they take the blood of the innocent. Mm. You are one of these uh, goes around telling scary stories to children. I am not child. No, oh, no, I'm not saying they're not stories. We faced one. I knew a man. Yeah. He's a monster hunter. Fights the undead and beasts outside on out of the city walls. I have a uh, blood bullet here if you want it. It's takes... infused with the blood of a blood sucker. He's gonna look it over. Holy shit! He knows his stuff. He uh, he looks at it and says, uh, "This is fine craftsmanship, and you make it with uh, magic blood." You say it has some properties. Okay, I get it. You want to come in, huh? No, I. It's not very often I get to talk to people about guns. Okay. But you if you're something. offering... Something for nothing, what do you want? If you're offering to let me in, then I won't cause any any huss or, or anything. He uh, holds the bullet up. He flicks open the chamber of his gun, pulls one of the rounds out, puts it in, spins it, and says, Okay, I tell you what. I let you in. When I get off my shift, I have never laid with a dwarf before, but... First time for everything. Well, if you've got a a, uh, a gun in your pocket, we'll see. Do get that he, dick. He, uh, he he nods at you and says, "Listen, you uh, you stick to the guy the the guys on the left. There is big room, dice players. You stay in there, okay? Don't go upstairs. 
Sounds like a plan. He lets you in and says, and uh, I get off at seven. <laughs> uh, well, no, I you get off at 710. <laughs> he really, really gets off at 710. I'm not he, there to protect you. I'm sorry. He lets you in. And uh, upstairs, Raja, you change into the finery. You now l- probably look like a uh, relatively <laughs> noble. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll even take a second if they have... Would they have like a, there'd be a, like a wash basin or something, right? Yeah, yeah. It'll even take a second and be like, all right, hang on, <laughs> and like fix the mass of matted, oily black hair so that it's actually like somewhat, kind of. All right, I have some sort of social standing. I hope. Okay, perfect. You still have Is there a anything? <sighs> hmm. Cause you just have this ridiculous weapon. <laughs> yeah, what do I do with this? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I'm going to. St- Crap! There's no. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Um, I am going to st- stash it under the. I'll just put it under the bed, or no? But I'll lift up the mattress and put it between the mattress and the. Are there mattresses? Yeah. Yeah. Big this feather, f- beautiful mattress. Yeah, fancy hotel, right? I'm going to lift up the mattress and put the tollwar between the mattress and the frame underneath it and set it back down. Sure. And then anything else in here that looks valuable enough to steal <laughs> besides the big paintings? <laughs> uh, yeah, 100%. There's loads of stuff in here that's valuable enough to steal. There's the cutlery. There's the, the finery. The, the cups themselves look like chalices worth selling. Um, in terms of like pouches of gold and stuff like that it seems that whoever was here has taken all that sort of stuff with them there's no okay. real like rings and things behind this isn't someone's actual house um but like the the stuff that's in the room you could probably just fence okay i'll take i'll take like a couple of the gold chalices and put them in the big deep pockets of this robe sure yeah add uh two gold chalices or gold gold inlaid chalices but we'll just say gold chalices for now okay. uh and I'll make a note for myself. Um, And then do you attempt to leave? Yeah, I'm just going to open up the door and close it behind me. The door is locked. From the outside? Well, there's just kind of a a lock on it, which looks like it would have a keyhole. One of those big old school, like, iron key locks. There's not anything I can turn from this side? One of them things. (laughs) Because we still have these keys in the UK, because we're medieval still. But there's um, not one I can turn from the inside. There, are, there would be tumblers on the inside. If you have a thieves' kit, you could probably, probably mm. pick the lock. Uh, is it like a deadbolt, or is it just like a standard doorknob type lever thing? Yeah, doorknob. You need you need the key or to pick a lock. Mm. But you wish you had lash now. Yeah. Uh, can I attempt to pick? Can I attempt to pick the lock with just? Uh, I'm trying to think. Can I? Uh, can I use a dagger to just try and pry the lock open instead of picking it? Give me a. It would be, I guess, a. Uh... <laughs> yeah, just give me a d20 with disadvantage, too. This is essentially a non-proficient thieves tool. Oh. No, you try to the oh, best of your not, ability. That's not happening. This is a relatively high quality lock. As far as medieval quality locks go. Okay, I'm going to search around the room and see if there's like an additional key. Like Alright, give key. me an investigation check. You don't find one. This is going nowhere real quick. Um, hmm. I'm tempted to just try and boot the door down, but it would make too much noise. Uh, can, is there, can you describe the room for me again so I have an idea what else there is here to work with? Pretty big room. Um, four poster bed, big lovely mattress with a tall wire under it. Um, 
big painting on one side over a wardrobe or a set of drawers. Um, the drawers are mostly empty. The person who seems to have brought the clothes up here has put some stuff in there. There are a couple of towels in there as well, um, but generally empty drawers. Then you have a table area with some nice um, chairs around it. There's some finery on the table. There's some fruit on the table. Um, two of the chalices seem to have gone missing. Um, then you're looking at a, a separate kind of room, en suite room with uh, a cleaning area. Now, there is no real such thing as like running water or toilets, but there's a very large wooden basin, um, which you assume somebody comes and fills with water at your behest. Um, they bring in a cleric who is far more adept at casting water spells than Arden, and they fill them up. Um, there's forks. Okay. Uh, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in that case, in that case, I'm just gonna I'm gonna take all the fancy cutlery as well, pocket all of that. Any remaining gold chalice, just want to pocket all that. Just take everything and get my hands on. Retrieve the tolwar and then go back out the window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what happens when you provide the the D and D unit that can't uh, open doors? without bashing them down a locked door very interesting question that i've now answered for myself thank you uh dms of the world well hacking down the door i feel like would make too much of a scene yeah that's that's what D D player characters do they either pick the lock or they smash it down <laughs> Those are the well two i was ones. also think i was also thinking i could knock on the door and say hey this door is jammed <laughs> and then you try to get like, the hotel staff to open it but my thinking is i don't need to get through the door now that I have the fancy clothes, I'm just go try walking in the front door instead. Sure. Um, yeah, you climb out of the uh, out of the window. Give me a stealth check as you climb down. God. You're you open the window. You get out of the window and you start climbing down. Um, do you have your tollbar again? As yeah, you know. I, I, I yeah, I, I took it back and I'm wearing the the big winter fur cloak thing over it so it's just like a, a knob poking up and you're uh, you climb down the uh, the side of the tower and once you reach the bottom and you creep back out between the two little houses that you'd have, you'd maybe snuck through to get to the wall um there's two tieflings stood there uh one of them with his arms crossed and uh, tapping his foot the other one with a sword drawn it's these two guards and they look at you and say so, uh, you are uh, just a delivery boy, is it? <laughs> Do they recognize me with my hair combed in the other outfit? Oh, yeah. Uh, both of them. <laughs> Seem to completely recognize you. <laughs> you look, here's what it looks like. It looks like you just crept in and broke in, stole some stuff, and then crept back out. <laughs> well, you see, I'm also staying here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> they uh, they look at one another. One of them draws the gun on you and says, "Put your hands in the air, please." Uh, is there okay? It, it, is there like a um, a fence or a boundary to this area that would block me from bolting? Um, I would say that you're kind of in like a in like a three foot alleyway between two parts of these buildings it leads pretty much just to that wall uh, that you climbed up the central tower um and there at the other end uh if you bolt you probably have to break through them and run mm. or run and climb back up the thing he definitely has a gun so, you, the other so, one. so i'm so I'm, I'm i'm at a uh you're saying i'm down an alleyway that's like a dead end and they're blocking it from the other side hmm They, uh, each one takes you by the arm and then... Uh, when, they, when they get close enough to me, yeah. I want to I try and run up the wall and vault over them. Okay. <laughs> you give me uh, an acrobatics check contested by a two. Ooh, uh, okay, so you vault, you run up the wall. You actually make it past the first guy, the one with the sword, but the one with the gun holsters his gun and just grabs out at you and gets you. Um, I would say at this point, you are mechanically grappled by him uh, okay. as he grabs you. What's he grabbing? 
Is he you, grabbing? You jump is... over one, and he grabs you, and you both land on the ground. Okay. Is he grabbing the 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 big fancy cloak part of me, or does he have me by the foot, or what is he grabbing? He's got you by the arm. Oh, okay. Wait. If he's the uh, guard with the gun, isn't he grabbing him by the weapon? What do you mean? No, no, he holds. Oh, it's weird. No, he's got him. Thanks, Jay. He's got you by the arm on the ground. Hey, stop it! Do not, do not move. The other one is like grabs the other one is like scrambling. He gets up. He brings his his uh, sword down towards your back on the ground. Do not move. Come on now. All right, you got me. Uh, they take you by the by the arms. Each of them lifts you up. Man handles you. They're pretty fucking strong. Um, to be fair, both of them, and. Uh, they hustle you off and they say, uh, hmm, Catholic does not like thieves. Um, and they take you round to the, uh, to the back entrance once again. Uh, and it's a good time to go for a quick break. Shit, boys. <laughs> it's not looking good right now. It's it was on. close. It was close. All they right. spotted you by one. We'll we back. got this. We'll be back three to five. Thanks for hanging. Go join the Discord. Woo!